What is up guys, today's video I'm going to demonstrate and show you how you can create easy, simple, really nice looking channel art, profile pictures, thumbnails, any, anything under the sun pretty much for uh, your YouTube channel, Twitch, Twitter, and uh, anything else you can think of, even Google+. So let's go ahead and get right into that. The first thing you want to do is of course open up Photoshop, go to File, create a new canvas, make sure it's set to pixels, and do a thousand by a thousand, and we're going to name this profile picture there we go hit OK so now here's our two objectives one find a wallpaper or create a wallpaper two find a font and create the font using a text of our choice so for the video and for the demonstration of this video I'm gonna go ahead and use a preset wallpaper something that's very geometric um, just looks very clean looks nice Simple as that. Now we can always recreate something like this using ellipses and rectangles and other shapes of the sort. But this is already pre-made, so and I'm using this for the sake of the video. And you can also find something like this on the interweb. Uh, and I'll go, I'll go ahead and demonstrate that in a second. But anyways, once you have this, we're going to go ahead and find our text. Uh, choose a font that we'd like. I like Big Noodle titling because to me that looks very clean and nice. But sometimes, I will admit, I do overuse... Uh, big noodle, but I'm gonna go ahead and type in TXG because I am Tectrix Gaming, and this is the abbreviation for Tectrix Gaming. And this is also could be Texas Gaming because I do live in Texas. Uh, pr that's pretty much it. Boom, <laughs> right? Pretty simple, huh? No, just kidding. I'm gonna go ahead and change this uh, to a different style. No, I forgot I had Hawaii. That looks pretty nice. But rather than that. There's what Roy? No, it's not. That's too fancy. Uh, excuse me. Go back up. Hmm. We'll go with Elkwood, and I'll center this out. Boom. There you go. Simple, easy profile picture. And of course, you can change the size of your text just so it kind of matches with the borders a little bit more. And we can also do one of these things where you add an ellipse. Uh, about right there. Center it out. Kind of get the text involved with it too. Sorry, it's taking me a little bit. Uh, it's not big enough. That's what she said. But you change the color. Do a Gaussian blur such as this. Boom. Convert to smart object. Boom. Bring that back behind the TXG and do a boom. One of these things. Get a get get that like a shadow effect without doing anything, just with an ellipse with a Gaussian blur and decrease the opacity. So, anyways, let's go ahead and delete this because I don't like it. And we're gonna do something actually a little bit different. I'm gonna leave TXG. I'm gonna delete that background. I'm gonna go ahead and go to my Chrome tab. Open up a Chrome tab and I'm gonna go to DA font. For you guys who don't have custom fonts, you can choose. There's a whole range of custom fonts here for your choosing. Uh, I highly suggest simple, clean font. Looks really nice. But rather than that, I'll leave a link to that down below. I'm going to type in City Sunset Wallpaper. And to make sure they're, no, they're not copyright, I'm typing no copyright. And Google does do a pretty good job of filtering images with no copyright. And so I'm going to go ahead and choose, I already have an image chosen for this. Let's see if I can find it. I already have it downloaded. Anyways, so you pick, pick an image of your choosing. You go ahead and download it. I'm going to drag this and drop. That does not look like 1080p, but we'll give it a shot. We'll go ahead and square that out to our canvas and drag this down below. And there we go. Go ahead and place the file. I'm going to add another filter. I love Gaussian blurs. Add another Gaussian blur, that's too much. Maybe like, I want a little bit of detail in there, so I'm going to go ahead and do an 8.6. Some city detail, and I'm going to go ahead and go back to my fonts. And I got the perfect font to match with this city. I think it's called Ganix. Ganix, where are you at? Ganix Apex Regular. Boom. Very unique and simple. And for this as well, I'm going to go ahead and add another ellipse. And this time, I'm trying to get it to the size of the text. Uh, about right there is actually pretty nice. We're going to change the color. We're going to go ahead and change that to a black. Make sure we place that. Go to our filter, blur, and a Gaussian blur. Convert to smart object. I'm actually going to increase this to about 26.4. And now I'm going to decrease the opacity 
just a little bit and of course I'm going to bring the text up front so it doesn't cause that awkward uh, effect right there there we go so now you get just get that little hint that hey there's text here you know you can see me and there you go that's pretty much it just simple profile pixel arts for your YouTube and believe it or not you'll be amazed on how many popular YouTube uh, channels use just something as simple as this easy peasy all you need to do is just learn the basics of Photoshop or GIMP or any open source uh, picture editor so that's it for this video uh, if you liked it, leave me a, leave me a like. If you didn't like it, leave a dislike. Comment what you thought. Feedback is always welcome in the comment section down below. And don't forget to check out that description because you will find links to DA fonts, which you can pick out any kind of types of font that you want. Um, and you can also find any types of images that have no copyright to them on Google for your wallpaper. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Thank you.